You don't do holidays, obviously. We don't do holidays. I enjoy your company. You enjoy mine. That way we don't have to worry about nothing. And never get fucking married. Never get married by the United States standard. Never go in front of no goddamn white man and say, you validate our love. American weddings only help the bitch. You just signed over, fuck my life up. That's what you just told her to do. If she believes in Americanized weddings, she's trying to take you down. Period, point blank. There's no, or she's a fucking, or, or she's fucking sleeping. You don't want it anyway. There's no reason why a bitch should tell you, I want to be, I need to go in front of a goddamn white man to make sure that we know we love each other. We love each other. Hey, we having our wedding on the 26th. Y'all put rings on each other's fingers down the road. Building spaceships to get the summer rains It's as formerly known as your only company To fly it back, I'll swim good dive in between Forget about the weather, make it more about me Alright, look here. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is... Are you serious? And if you don't have your Are You Serious t-shirt, have no fear. We've got some good pricing for y'all coming up and shit like that. Also, look, if you're not getting a notification, if you happen to come here on your own accord and search for the video, put that shit in the comment section. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but for some reason, everybody's not getting a fucking notification. Motherfuckers think that I just stopped doing this shit for some fucking reason. I don't know what the fuck I got to do. But if I'm being shadow banned, I need to know what the fuck going on. So let it be known in the comment section whether or not you get your notification and how long it's been since you've had a notification so I can try to see what the fuck is going on. I expected something like this to take place because of the way I was speaking and shit like that. Um, um, but I haven't got no fucking words, so... After I know that I've been shadow banned, I can figure out something else that I can do to um, substitute their notification with my own type of notification. I just have to get everybody in one place to where I can handle that business. No big deal. Um, look, man, um, I don't want to make this a whole channel um, where all we do is talk about bitches and shit like that. But this is the Big Facts Podcast, and I don't just... I'm not... This is a rap channel. It's about rap shit, man. It's about music. But in my life, music wasn't just music. As I told y'all, Listen in the Future sent me to Metro two times. Metro was a jail. I caught two cases of Listen in the Future. Like, that shit had me so fucking turned. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. For the whole family, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. For my girlfriend, man, I'm tripping. Don't trip me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just turn the fuck up. Just retarded. Like, nigga. Ah! Do anything right now. You know what I'm saying? Just turn the fuck up. Because that music got something inside of it. it you know, this. got to do your research on frequencies and, you know what I'm saying, what music really is um, before you go to war. They always had music and shit. Can make you do shit. Um... One thing that music makes you do is idolize the person that's making it. And most of the times, that turns out to be a mistake. As we see with R. Kelly, as we see with Rick James, and pretty much every other artist that you can fucking name. Because no human is perfect. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's one of the reasons I don't like motherfuckers pointing out, making a face for anything. Because... It's a lot of people that do a lot worse, you know what I'm saying, out there. And I just don't appreciate that shit. But I believe that it's someone's job, someone, even though, you know, it's enough haters out there in the world and shit like that. I'm not with that. I'm, fuck the hating shit. 
what I want to bring to you is shit that's blatantly fucking wrong that people don't think is wrong. As you can see from the comment section, when hoes do shit like this, you don't really get that much backlash. I want y'all to watch what Young Miami just did in the interview. I want y'all to see this. Check this shit out, and we finna talk about it. Act like entices a guy you're dating, mm -hmm. and I want you to show us how you get money out of a guy or gifts. Like, mm. how do you get a gift out of a guy? Like, some girls just don't know how to ask. They don't want to ask. Or okay, so the phone rings. You calling him, or he called you? Yo. Oh, call her. What up, babe? What's good? And then what's up? What you doing? Ain't nothing. Just chilling. Let's go with you. And then, and then tomorrow I see these shoes. Oh, you need some shoes? Yeah, I don't, you know I got a show tomorrow. Okay, what kind of shoes? As soon as you start shooting, bitches want to start calling this shit. That shit's retarded. Look, January 22nd, 6 p.m., I'll be going live for the first time on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, get over there. I said I was going to do it this year, so we doing this shit. Um, I'm speaking to AO Nation. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Um, the AO Nation donation conversation. We have that every other Sunday. I shout y'all out when y'all donate and shit like that, but we doing more at this fucking point in time because y'all know... YouTube don't pay shit, you know what I'm saying? NBA 2K and stole my goddamn shirts and shit like that. You can see that shit on YouTube. Uh, with the shirts, y'all know the shirts, uh, any shirt you want, any headwear you want, the shirts are going for um, 15, all shirts all, and all the headwear is going for 10 for the month of January and shit like that. But we speaking on the 22nd. Any question y'all got, scream at me. Also, listen. Listen to this goddamn music that y'all hear in the background. It's not just music I find online. It's real artists with real fucking projects that are, you know what I'm saying, trying to promote themselves. Listen to that shit. Get down in the comment section. Let it be known how the fuck you feel. Most of the time, they'll be in the comment section so you can tell them personally what the fuck they need to do or how you like their music and shit like that. If you're an artist that's trying to get some real exposure with real people, not that Instagram sponsor bullshit, Hit me up, but don't hit me up until you're ready to make a transaction. Prices start at $200, go up to $2,000, depending on what you want to do, whatever like that. But do not hit me up until you're ready to go to work. I'm not, I don't, I don't have no time to play. I'm trying to sue these fucking folks. Get back to the video. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love. Gucci. Say some Gucci boots. How much you need, baby? $2,000. $2,000? <laughs> $2,000? So, I know you got no money. You've been at work all day. All right, listen, I'm going to cash up. You coming over later, right? Of course. All right. All right, I got you right now. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> it tastes like what that mouth do. <laughs> yeah. All right. As we were talking about this shit, this is what somebody just mentioned me in a comment. Can y'all see that? This nigga's doing this show on purpose now. Offset is purposely dressing like this just so I can say something about this shit now. Hold on, because this TV keep... All right. Off of that offset shit, let's look at what this whole just said to this nigga. All right, so what she did, though, what I can't appreciate from what Young Miami just did is she gave, and even the radio host, the fat lady who told her to do this shit, that's always, I hate motherfuckers like that. This is one of the reasons why I... I don't want to say nothing bad about Nick Cannon because he does real shit, but I just have an issue with motherfuckers who are friends with everybody. Laugh at shit that's not funny. It's the same issue I have with Angela Yee. All that motherfucking laughing all the time when shit's not funny. <laughs> Show us how you... <laughs> just like, and that's, that's the easiest way to gas somebody up, and that's, to me, laughter... What is it? Um, excessive laughing is a sign of extreme low self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? I'm a laugh so that no one looks at me. I'm just going with the flow. I'm not doing anything to make any waves. I'm not doing anything to rock the boat. I'm just, I'm just going along with it. Don't look at me. I, I'm just average. I'm, I'm just going well with everybody else. Well, I don't want to be seen. This is a reason why I can understand the bullshit offset dynamic of wearing these retarded ass clothes even with Kanye West look at me look how different I am but it's faggot shit like a nigga having a fucking nose ring not the nose ring I'm talking about the bull ring like it's obvious that you just want to be seen niggas dyeing their hair a whole bunch of colors it's obvious you just want to I have a fucking issue with motherfuckers trying to steal attention a, a true attention whore I'm not going to if a motherfucker busts out LMA, 
the girl who sings the AO uh, theme song. And she sings uh, Booed Up. Secondly, sung AO first. But if she just bust out singing in the middle of class, whatever like that, I couldn't really get mad at that because that's a talent that she shows. Even if she does it all the time, she's good at it. She's obviously had to practice this shit. Uh, someone who's on the football field and just always wants to do backflips. Millions and millions of them. Like, he had to practice. It takes talent to do that shit. Uh, someone who always wants to go to the shooting range and, and show you how they can hit the bullseye. That's what it, like, they're good at that shit. But when you want to look at me, just look at me. Okay, why? Uh, because I'm different. How? Uh, my hair is all kind of colors. Wow. Wow. See, you never seen this before. No, I haven't seen that before. But it's not a talent. It's not a skill. I can go do the same thing. Do you have anything else unique to you? Can you move your bone out of place? Even that bullshit. I don't like. Come on, man. You have a fucking, uh, 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 can you bend your thumb backwards? I, I didn't. I don't like that either. Have a talent. Like, have something that you can make money off of. And what this whole thing, this whole generation has become is just a whole bunch of a fucking circus. Like I said, the bearded lady, the midget man, you got A-Town, Welvin the Great. You know what I'm saying? Even when 50 Tyson and then was out, at least we knew that these motherfuckers were retarded. Ice J.J. Fish, even him, he, you know what I'm saying? He believes in himself. These motherfuckers have no fucking talent. Look at me, my hair is all red. I'm a blood with, 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 with fucking finger paint. I'm a gangster, but I wear a dress. I'm so hard, I got herpes. Look at me. Even though I fuck with Kevin Gates, and I, I, I hate, I truly hate how everyone says, like, everywhere I go, it's, it's uh, fucking, I was going to ask you for an autograph. I thought you were Kevin. I hate that shit. Even with him, I'm talking about before the, the Muslim shit, and I don't, I don't like anything. I don't like shit. I don't like nothing that screams for attention. Uh, becoming, I feel like becoming, that's the same shit as going to jail and becoming, you know what I'm saying, a, a born again Christian, born again Muslim. Uh, now you want to be a blood once you go to jail. What the fuck? You get, in, you get in this industry and all of a sudden you're a Muslim. I feel like that's attention horn. Anything that takes attention away from your fucking, what you do. Look at this shit. I'm not that good at this, but look at this. Or I am good at this, but I need something to hype me up some. That's a gimmick, and I fucking hate gimmicks. I come from Comedian and Paul Wall, Swisher House. Well, put Swisher House on your Reebok. Niggas ain't with that gimmick shit. I didn't like my, Mike Jones for that exact same fucking reason. Dog. Be talented in what the fuck you do. But that's that's something else. But with this shit, Young Miami, what she does is give you the dynamic between a lame ass. Do not get this shit fucked up. If a bitch calls you when she's at the mall, my nigga, listen to what the fuck I'm telling you. If a bitch calls you when she's at the mall, you lame as fuck. Period. If a bitch calls you before she makes a purchase, you lame as fuck. For her even trying you like that. Now, and I'm telling you that you lame as fuck because I'm telling you what she sees in you. When she talks to her friends, this will be the conversation. When she talks to the nigga that she fucking and they laughing at you, this will be the conversation. Because that nigga she fucking, she would never call him before she makes a purchase. Most of the time because she's trying to surprise the nigga. She tell you she finna buy some Gucci boots for $2,000 when it's hoping to get her some, you know what I'm saying? Some shoes that cost $150 and take the rest of the money to this nigga. 
I'm that nigga that she bring the money to. And I'm just blow like, God damn, that, that nigga been working on the boat for how long? You just happen to have a bitch that look good in your phone. Because you so lame, that's all that, that's, you don't need anything real. You just need it to look like this because you just want to prove to everybody because everybody just, you know, this is the same thing with Soldier Boy, the baby, Young Jock. You know what your reputation is. You know how people see you and you want to change it. Uh, this this the type of girl I talk to. These are the type of hoes I fuck with. My nigga, you have a fucking job. You work for the city. This hoe knows that. Old hustle. The old hustle is a nigga come to the club in his work clothes and a nothing ass hoe will be attracted to him because at least she knows that he has a check coming in. Used to be a nigga come to the club fresh as fuck. But niggas, so many niggas came to the club fake fresh. Hoes were getting tricked out of everything. And the game so thrown off. You know what I'm saying? If you don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm telling you that hoes expect for a nigga's um, exterior to represent his pockets. You know what I'm saying? Once they, they, they know that if a nigga has money, he's going to dress like he has money. Not... Not completely understanding that the niggas who actually have money are uh, reserved in the way they dress. I'm, 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 of course, I'm speaking on a another racial, you know, like Elon uh, Elon Musk doesn't dress like Quavo, but has way more money than him. You know what I'm saying? Because we have such us as black men, we we, we feel so low on the totem pole, and we have such low self esteem in, our, in, in ourselves, um, low self esteem in ourselves. That we feel like we have to wear all, we have to wear our wealth, not grow it, wear it. Because shout out to uh, Katrina Gibbs, go subscribe to the Conversation with Me podcast. She let niggas know. She said Chief Keith, his baby mama is forty two years old. She made it be clear, like you bitches. Don't fuck with Chief Keith if he's not Chief Keith. If Chief Keith isn't Sosa, you don't fuck with him. The only reason you fuck with Chief Keith is because you know he has money. And as these hoes all, as Young Miami told you in a in her Breakfast Club interview, the easiest niggas to rob is rappers because all these niggas is lame as fuck. Before getting their fame and fortune. Their nigga pennies, the hoes didn't look at them. Hoes didn't have conversations for them. You look at Offset. Look at him pop locking in that old video. You think hoes was, you know what I'm saying? You give these niggas this money, but more than the money, you give them this power now. And they don't know what the fuck to do. Because they had no direction before they got here, it makes them so easy to now lead once you give them something. Because the person who gives them something now looks like they're fucking God. You the one who brought me out of struggle. I'm going to go wherever you go. I, they don't stand for anything. And that is a requirement to get inside this game. Because it's going to make you so easy to be picked off. What they give you is temporary. They know that the money they give you, you will give it back to their homeboys. Yeah. The top agents, agents of these record labels have jewelry shops. They have stock in prisons. They have stock in shoes. They're filling their own pockets. The money is, is just cycling. You get the money. Give the money. Get the money. You're not going to get the money. Keep it. And you invest. You're going to get the money and give it. Because this is what the fuck the rap trap is. If you don't get this money and spend it to where the people can see that you spending. It's, that's a fucking requirement. You're not going to get no deal and stay fucking humble. You're going to get that money and spend that fucking money. And they own everything that you'll spend your money on. 
got stock in an exotic car. Jewelry. Homosexual clothes. You know what I'm saying? You have no fucking direction. You didn't stand for shit. So they pushed you the fuck over and rolled your ass down the road. You nothing but a tax write-off so they can continue to do what the fuck they doing. But you can't fucking hear me. Let's talk about this hoe. On the phone. I'm at the mall. First off, when a bitch call with that type of tone, like she's depressed, first thing you should do. You're enjoying a peaceful life. You got a job. You work. I'm talking to you, dog. Listen to what the fuck I'm telling you. You're enjoying your life. You got your job. You got your shit together. There, Don't let the thought cross your mind that she's not this type of bitch. If it looked like this, this is, I'm telling you to be prejudiced, my nigga. I'm telling you to stereotype and profile. If this bitch look like this, that's what the fuck she is. Period, point blank. If she looks like she's vain, stay the fuck away from her. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Because that, that that's not a relationship. That's a fucking parasite you're talking to. And the only thing is, you're being... You're being fooled by the introduction. It's, 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 you know what I'm saying? Uh, don't judge a book by its cover. It looks like flowers and butterflies on the cover. Cream color book, flowers, nice font on the cover. This is an intelligent book. You open that motherfucker and it's a pop-up. It's a fucking pop-up book. Crayons and shit. Words misspelled. The fuck is this shit? But you had to get damn near to the middle of the book to understand. Because you just hoping, oh, hell no, nah, this cover look too good. You in disbelief. Time is money. So while you trying to read this fucking book and wait till you get to the intelligent part, you losing fucking money. I don't, I'm, I don't believe, I believe that a motherfucker's appearance represents them. I do believe that. I do believe that. But I'm telling you, appearance, it's, it's what, it's, it's, it should be everything to you. She has weave, she has makeup, this is that bitch. Ass out, titties out, this is that bitch. It's a thirst trap. It's a walking thirst trap. Too good to be true. Why in the fuck would she be interested in you? You think she wants to settle down? This... You think she wants to settle down? Not my bitch. What makes you think that's your... Listen to me now. Like, this this is an, is a, this is an exaggerated version. Uh, let me get $2,000 for these shoes. Uh, you're going to come through later on. That's prostitution. We understand what prostitution is. What I need you to understand is there are working relationships that go just like this. You guys have been dating. She comes over to the house. She has her own apartment. She pays her own bills. You get her gifts, y'all fuck from time to time. But her exterior is so fucking tough that you're scared to, you know what I'm saying? And you shouldn't be scared to say, hey, look here, um. I don't, I, 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 don't, I don't think you need that. I don't think you need that. If if it's a if it's a relationship, then she'll want to come over and talk about it and shit like that. And you should be able to read. If she comes over, y'all fuck, and then you give it to her, then you've lost. You say you tell her you don't think she should have it, then when she comes with something else, you think you say the same thing. Cut that spending money shit off, and see what the fuck happens. Dog, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm going to be honest with you, man. This bitch said, how does a woman get gifts from a man and shit like that? You can't get gifts from a man. You get gifts from a lame-ass nigga. 
if I'm going to buy the pussy, I'm going to buy the pussy. Period. Point blank. Other than that, you enjoy my company, I enjoy yours. You got your money, I got mine. You understand what kind of bitches are out here. So I shouldn't have to explain why I'm not going to pay your bill. I'm not going to pay the, I'm not going to, you going to pay for your half for the dinner. I mean, you know, we, we don't got to be petty with it. I, I'll pay for, you know, maybe that shit. You know, but understand what I'm saying. No gifts. I don't do, I don't do how, you, you should be on this type. You don't do holidays, obviously. We don't do holidays. I enjoy your company. You enjoy mine. That way we don't have to worry about nothing. And never get fucking married. Never get married by the United States standard. Never go in front of no goddamn white man and say, you validate our love. American weddings only help the bitch. You just signed over, fuck my life up. That's what you just told her to do. If she believes in Americanized weddings, she's trying to take you down. Period, point blank. There's no, or she's a fucking, or, or she's fucking sleeping. You don't want it anyway. There's no reason why a bitch should tell you, I want to be, I need to go in front of a goddamn white man to make sure that we know we love each other. We love each other. Hey, we having our wedding on the 26th. Y'all put rings on each other's fingers down the road. Ain't no tank shit. Ain't, fuck that. No, we married. I said we married, so we married. Ain't no, ain't no question about it. If she wants to be, if she wants to be married by the white man standard, she's trying to fucking rob you. Period. Point blank. Period. If she needs the white man to validate y'all love, you don't want the bitch. She probably won't weave and all this other shit too. You don't want the bitch. These hoes will tell you that they don't. Wear they natural hair because it take too long to comb, dog. That's the same. How, how the fuck you think the bitch feel about cleaning her pussy? Take too long to do. It's yours, bitch. I don't mean to be fucked up. But look what the fuck this hoe just said. This shit ain't being fucking uh, uh, downtrodden. This shit is being upheld and celebrated. Like, hell yeah, why these niggas so cheap? And there's a war going on outside. These motherfuckers getting richer by the day. And we're being incentivized to spin, spin, spin. We're not training our children to use weapons. We not homeschooling our children. We not spending no time with shit. The TV and the music and social media is raising our children. Yet and still. Motherfuckers is trying to find a way to get fucking money and gifts out of goddamn man pocket. I don't mean to. I don't mean the trip, man. I don't mean the trip. But it's too many motherfuckers going through this shit day for day. And niggas is trying to tell you other niggas, man, to snap out of it. Because they've been through it. It's not going to work like that. But you're not listening. You're not listening. These hoes got more power than the president nowadays. You damn near gotta wear a body camera just to go on a date with a bitch cause she might say you fucking raped her. And you round this bitch playing? Alright. Keep playing. And what you get is what you get. I'm getting prepared for a war. Period. Big Fast Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Love.